Magandang araw sa inyong lahat, G12 family. Kumusta na po kayo? First, I'd like to honor the father of G12 Vision, Pastor Cesar Castellanos and Pastora Claudia Castellanos. And also, my mentor and coach, Bishop Oriel Baliano and Pastora Jer Baliano. And all the national G12 leaders of the Philippines. Today, my topic is Unlimited Possibilities in Vision 2020. I have several questions for you. Are you tired of waiting? Are you disappointed, discouraged, or frustrated? During this pandemic, several things may happen. Number one, we may get answers to delayed expectations. When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people gathered themselves together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods who shall go before us. Exodus 32 verse 1. For hundred years, for hundred years, that is how long the Israelites waited for God to deliver them from slavery. But after they left Egypt, God didn't take them directly to Canaan. Instead, they camped at the base of a mountain while God instructed Moses up on Mount Sinai, giving him the tablets of stone, the ten commandments. But after 40 days, the Israelites grew frustrated. Their delayed expectations led to poor decisions. They rejected God and pursued whatever pleased them. Have you ever felt frustrated by an uncertain waiting season like COVID-19 that lasts longer than you anticipated. You are not alone. We can become a focus or we can become so focused on our disappointments that we forget God is still in control. That is why it's very important to remember that your waiting is never wasted. Even though the Israelites couldn't see it at that time, God wasn't withholding His promises to, for them. He was preparing them for it. COVID-19 is a time of preparation. So, if you find yourself weary from waiting, do what the Israelites forgot to do. Look for evidences of God's presence and look back on what is already done. God's timeline may be different than yours, but His faithfulness doesn't change. Your waiting may be preparing you for the plans and purposes God has for you. Delayed expectations is the ingredient God uses to mature, to mature you. Yun pala ang dahilan. Kaya kamisan yung ating inaantay wala pa. Kaya pala mahaba itong COVID-19 lockdown sapagkat may magandang gagawin ang ating Panginoon. Una, we will grow in maturity. Pangalawa, we have a chance to be more intimate with Him. And also, we have also that opportunity to be able to win more disciples for Him. Number two, Coping with negative feelings of loneliness and boredom. There are two of the worst feelings in the world, loneliness and boredom. Now, we have all experienced each of these emotions for at least once in our lives. And I'm sure you know just how awful they are, how awful they feel how they get you down to a point where you grow frustrated, feeling like you're sinking in quicksand. 
let's discuss about loneliness. If you have ever lived by yourself, naranasan mo ang mamuhay na nag-iisa ka, lalo, po, lalo na po ito sa mga ulila, ulilang mga disciples, you should be quite familiar with this feeling. Well, as unpleasant as it may be, you might not have to deal with it again during this COVID crisis. You see, during disasters, people usually come together. They help each other go through the danger. They share losses and victories and bond like family. However, when there is a long-term crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic, people tend to isolate, detach, or withdraw themselves from the world. They get so absorbed in their own problems that seem like they're never going to end and they get selfish. Normally, yun po, nangyayari po sa ating mga disciples, pagka sila po ay uh, lonely na, tapos bored pa, tendency po, sila po ay nag-withdraw at ayaw nang kumunik. Kaya kinakailangan may gagawin po tayo. At yun po ang nais ko pong ituloy sa discussion ito. Now, let's talk about boredom. Take about boredom, for example. It's the most common feeling we experience. In fact, it's so common that we feel its presence every day. Whenever we get bored, we can start another activity, something more entertaining. We immediately try to get rid of it. We break our routine even for 10 minutes. We go get a cup of coffee or read the news or whatever it takes to make us feel more entertained. But in times of crisis, however, it's not as simple to fight boredom. If a disaster happens and you're stuck indoors like this pandemic lockdown with almost nothing to do but basic survival activities, then boredom becomes a real heavy burden, especially to senior citizens like me. I mean it, it can literally drive you nuts. It can literally drive you crazy. Waiting around for things to get better is actually the hardest part of dealing with a crisis. So here's what you need to do to avoid loneliness and boredom. Let me give you some practical tips. Write, meaning you can write a poem, compose a song, write about good memories, or collage your photographs so that you can remember the happy, time, the happy times in your life. Or you can cook. You can invent, you can concoct a new menu and cook for your loved ones, or you can play. If you've got small kids or grandkids like us, play with them. Try to get to spend quality, quality time with your family. Kagaya po ng aking pong apo, uh, malimit papasok sa aming kwarto habang Ako naman po ay visit, nagbabasa, nagpo-focus ako, lalo nang pinipipare ko ang mga messages kagaya nito. Tapos doon naman niya ako yayayain mag-chess kami. And I have to leave what I'm doing and, uh, and pay attention to my uh, grandson and we play chess. Or you can read. Start reading a book you've always wanted to read but never had the time to do it. If you want to entertain your loved ones as well, read it aloud with them. You can start a routine by reading the Bible 10 to 20 pages every day or more, read more. Next is build something. Find some scraps and start building something like a Christmas tree, a parol, a birdhouse, or a chair or table. 
or whatever you like, depending on the materials you find in your home. Well, I found this uh, sira na uh, swivel chair. Inalis ko po yung top. Tapos, ako po ay naglagari ng 3-4 inch plywood. Inilagay ko po sa ibabaw at ginawa ko pong small coffee table na ito po ay may gulong. So, it's, it could be uh, pushed around anywhere I want to put it. It will take your mind off the crisis and give you a useful occupation if you do, if you do build something. Let the kids and your family help out. It will be more fun and they'll learn a lot from the experience. And the bottom line here is don't isolate yourself like every else does. The bottom line is don't, never, never isolate yourself like everyone else does. I have given you some practical tips how you can ride off this pandemic. But as Christians, we can do one thing more important, which is, which is very, very important, and that is to prepare for the harvest. Number three, preparation follows expectation. It's important to remember that God is always working behind the scenes. Even through this global pandemic and, a, and any other problems you may be facing right now, trust Him and be patient. How do you do that? What do you, what do, you do while you're waiting? How do you build a faith that trusts God during these delays? Well, I found uh, the answer to James 5, verses 7 to 8, God's Word. Brothers and sisters, be patient until the Lord comes again. See how the farmers wait for their precious crops to grow. They wait patiently for, all, for fall and spring rains. You too must be patient. Don't give up hope. The Lord will soon be here. Didn't you notice the farmers wait for their precious, precious harvest, precious crops to grow? The word wait is not passive waiting, like doing nothing. Wait is like a waiter actively serving God. How does the farmers wait for the harvest in the Philippines? Well, after sowing the rice seeds, the farmer carefully watches his crop to grow. When weeds grow, he pulls them out. When the bugs come to eat the growing rice, the farmer sprays his pesticides so that uh, these insects would be killed. When rice begins to bear seeds, birds will come and eat the rice seeds. He builds now some scarecrows or put plastic strips on strings to ward off or scare off the birds. He continually protects the harvest until they are ripe for harvest. The weeds, the insects, the birds represents the spirit of Satan trying to steal the harvest. After harvest, may proseso pa po. Kapag kainan na po ang palay, ito po ay gigiikin at kukunin po ang mga buto sa pamamagitan ng pagtatahip para ma-separate po ang mga damo, ma-separate po ang, ang mga uhay, at ang matra ay buto lamang. Pagkatapos nilalagay po ito sa sako at hinabukasan, pag matindi ang araw, 
ilalabas po nila ito upang maibilad until 14% moisture content or else they will sprout. Tutubo po sila. And after drying, he put them in sacks either to store in barns or go to the rice mill, mill the rice to be able to sell the rice. Sowing the rice seed is sowing the gospel. While waiting, you consolidate and you convert, guarding them in prayer until able to introduce him to his new family, which is the cell group. Continually guarding them in prayer to be able to bring him to our kingdom family, the church. Then, that person is enrolled in life class. Then, a school of leaders one, two, and three to become a true disciple of Jesus Christ. A leader of leaders engaged in Jesus' mission. Like farmers, you need to actively wait expectantly. While a farmer waits, he prepares for the harvest, he gets ready. He doesn't sit around thinking, Ano kaya? Tutubo kaya ito? Ano kaya aani ako? I wonder if this is going to grow or not. But a farmer always expects it to grow. Maski bumabagyo at nawasak ang kanilang itinanim, tiyak magtat. who is really waiting on us. Tayo lang po ang iniintay ng ating Panginoon. Hindi siya ang nag sa atin. We need to be active, sharing the gospel to take advantage of the opportunity because people are now ready in need of God due to COVID-19. This pandemic is the great opportunity God has given us to experience multitudes coming to Jesus Christ. And God is saying, My son, my child, I want to bless you abundantly. 
but you are not ready to handle the blessings, meaning the multitudes, I want to give you. I want you first to grow up before the supernatural blessings I am about to give you. The reason for your waiting. Now, if you're not waiting on me, I am waiting on you. Let me tell you this. Expectation must lead to preparation. Preparation leads to fulfillment. Expectation. Preparation leads to fulfilled expectation, meaning the harvest. If you're tired and worn out because of this crisis, you need to remember to actively wait on our God. When you are tired, rest if you must, but don't quit. Rest if you must, but never, never quit. And also, you need to get still, get with God's Word, and learn how to be, how to be more like Him. Then, you get busy doing the work that will prepare you for the harvest. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for the unlimited possibilities that you are giving us during this pandemic. By faith, we have a vision of multitudes coming to Jesus Christ like sands on the seashore. May your churches be filled with thousands of your elect. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. God bless you.